Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to talk about Niagara and warming up our systems in Unreal 4. Now, you may also hear this referred to as pre-warm. And the idea here is that we would start our systems sooner, but later in our simulations. Now, there's also a whole bunch of different reasons why you might want to do this. And the main one being that you don't want to see your particles spawn in. So think about a fire, for example. Maybe you don't want to see a fire spawn in, but you want to see it already built up. So to get this started, I'm using a Niagara emitter and a Niagara system that I created in the ambient dust effect video. So I'm going to open up my Niagara system and in here, we want to look at this blue box in here. And in here, you'll see system properties. Now, if we scroll all the way down, you'll see warm up. So before I click on any of this, if I scrub along my timeline, we should see that our particles are spawning in at about one second and starting to fade in. And then as we advance, it starts to build up more. Now, say that you want it to be at about this buildup at the beginning when your particle spawns in, this is what you would use warm up for. Now, looking at the options in here, we have warm up time, warm up tick count, and warm up tick delta. So warm up time and warm up tick count, these are actually gonna work together. As you increase the number on one, the other one's going to increase as well. And if you try and grab these numbers and you try and just slide them up with your mouse, it's not really gonna work. You're gonna to have to type in the numbers. So for example, if I just put in five, right away you'll see that now we have particles spawning in earlier. And if I just keep on increasing this to say 20, you'll see that we're a lot further in our simulation. And that's about it. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. And once again, there's a whole bunch of different reasons why you might wanna use this. So before I finish this video, I'm gonna go take a look and I'm gonna go play just to see how it's working. If I hit play, we just see that these are already going, they're already snapped in. And if we just go back to our system, and now I set the warm up time back to zero, save it, take a look. Now we'll see that they're fading in again, just like they did originally. All right guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.